have to always have this pressure of being being a female put on yourself that you have to look a specific way Absolutely. and you have to be a specific weight and you have to fit into societal norms and all of these things and in my opinion it's just not fair because you're placed in a position where you feel like you always have to exercise you always have to eat less calories and the whole concept of you know eat less do more like we've talked about plenty of times um really is becoming the worst thing that many women can continuously do because they've done it for the last 20 years of their lives All right, so hi, I'm Dr. Andrea Patterson, nurse practitioner. I've been um, practicing for approximately nine years now, uh, family medicine. And um, I've always been um, an avid workout fitness person since steadily since about 2008. Um, however, the past three years I've had, and I've always had personal trainers, but for the past three years, I've had um, hit a point where there was just no change being made. Um, I was putting in the work, I was working out four days a week for the past three years, um, and there was just no change in uh, weight, no change in body composition. And as a practitioner, you kind of know when it's time to reach out for a specialist. When you've done all that you have can do, and it's beyond your scope, and you have to realize and recognize that, okay, I need to get a specialist on board to figure out what's the problem, what's going on. And that's when I decided, okay, it, it must be my eating habits. It's got to be my diet. Something is wrong. So that's when I decided to um, reach out for a nutritionist. My best friend, Stacy, um, told me about you and, um, I decided that this is this was worth it. It was worth it for me, for my health, and for my goals. And that's what that's just kind of what I wanted to do. And it was time. It was time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, would you care to share a little bit, maybe, about like how you were feeling during that time of you know, kind of having trainers and such like this, but not necessarily being able to, I guess, reach the goal that you had set forth, and kind of almost in a sense, maybe feeling like you were spinning your wheels, but you know, like your energy levels and how you felt and all of those things, I think are very important to somebody who may kind of be on the fence. And ever since I've been working um, with you, Coach, for the past, what's it been, three months? Um, three months now? About um, weeks, yes, ma'am. My energy is like through the roof. I have been doing things that I would normally, you know, contract out um, as far as for work around the house. I've I mean, I'm tilling my yard, I'm resodding my backyard, I'm pressure washing, I'm just doing all kinds of things with the explosive energy that I had, that I've just been gaining ever since, you know, revamping my diet, resetting, resetting my metabolism and getting my uh, thyroids back to working where it's supposed to be. Uh, it's, it's also helped me change my practice with my patients as far as their thyroid levels, you know? So. Absolutely. Yeah. So like a, a little backstory for everybody who, um, who w watches this, you know, a lot of women specifically, and, and I think it's important to highlight that women are seven times more likely to develop some type of thyroid issue than men are. Um, and the majority of that is essentially caused by overactivity and under eating. And with that being said, you know, when Andrea came in, her thyroid was a bit underactive and we were able to review her labs to be able to see that. And then we also, um, there's a typical correlation between an underactive thyroid and insulin resistance. So if we can upregulate the thyroid function, specifically the thyroid hormone T3, and in many cases, this, is, this can be done by just increasing glucose over time, uh, we're actually able to get the body burning again. And, you know, one look at Dr. Andrea, and I knew she had a ton of muscle mass there that just needed to be turned back on. And once we were able to turn all that muscle mass back on, and we were able to start increasing calories, increasing carbohydrates, then the weight just kind of started to come off. And now we're really being able to see how much muscle mass was there the entire time. Um, you know, the amount of energy, the amount of explosive energy, as she, as she stated, again, is correlated to uh, her thyroid health. So your thyroid health can actually dictate your power output. 
And if you're stronger in the gym with a healthy thyroid, you're sweating more, you have more energy, all these are great signs that your thyroid is back functioning properly. So uh, I'm just super excited to be able to help her. And I'm even more excited to see what the future brings as far as what we're going to be able to do. Because Dr. Andrea uh, does actually have plans of possibly competing in the future, I believe. Is that still, is that still, yes. still there? Okay, yes. awesome. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's super important when you're working with a client to have like this this journey for the individual kind of already laid out or planned out. And as far as when coaches work with a client, again, I think it's super important to plan things out, not just say, here's your program, follow this, but to actually throughout that process, be an educator and be somebody who can create the path because without knowing where we're going, it's very hard to make specific decisions. And as far as I'm concerned, Dr. Andrea and I right now are kind of like in the first, probably in the first half, I would say, of our relationship, because really what we're trying to do right now is get her body composition and her physique to a place where, you know, she's not too far away from what that goal is. And because we're going to be able to break this down methodically, the goal or the end goal is so much more in reach because we don't have to, you know, do, do it all at one specific time. You know? So how many pounds overall are you down right now? And then I guess how many more calories per day are you eating now in comparison to what you were? Okay. So I, when I started with you, I was 155.6. Mm -hmm. um, this, this morning's weight was 142.8. Um, I'm so ecstatic about that. I know, I know your thing is not weight loss, but you know, it, it's great that it comes with the whole program. Mm -hmm. Um, and as far as, um, uh, what was the other thing? Yeah. I was just asking about the, I think the, the calorie weight. difference. Oh, okay. So I was probably eating maybe 1200 calories. Mm -hmm. Yep. And not in the right um, uh, right areas, I should yeah. say. And so, right. And so now I'm eating seventeen hundred and seventy five calories. Mm. And even with increasing the calories, again, the weights come off, losing inches everywhere, building the muscle, going back to lean um, like I had previously with a picture I sent you, and then not to mention the explosive, the explosive energy as well. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I think that's super important to highlight because a lot of a lot of women specifically, and like I mentioned, you know, women are seven times more likely to have some type of thyroid issue. Um, interestingly enough, so many people whether they know it or not, again, knowingly or unknowingly, they're walking around with the potential to be able to do these things. Right. Whereas they're really, and it could be maybe a societal thing is that, you know, you're kind of always have this pressure of being, being a female put on yourself that you have to look a specific way Absolutely. and you have to be a specific weight and you have to fit into societal norms and all of these things. And in my opinion, it's just not fair because you're placed in a position where you feel like you always have to exercise. You always have to eat less calories. And the whole concept of, you know, eat less, do more, like we've talked about plenty of times, um, really is becoming the worst thing that many women can continuously do because they've done it for the last 20 years of their lives. So with that being said, oftentimes the most important piece for so many of you is going to be the point in which you pivot and you decide that, hey, what I've been doing for the better part of my life, I realize that it's not serving me anymore. I realize that it's not the most helpful thing that I could be doing for myself, specifically my longevity and my overall health. So therefore, we have to make a pivot and we have to do something that's going to prioritize health, move health back up to number one, not calorie burn and low calories, but actually move health back up there so you can make sure that all of your hormones are functioning properly. And thus, if we can make sure all your hormones are functioning properly, we can then make sure that your metabolism is functioning properly. With that being said, Dr. Andrea, is, is there anything else that you would like to add in um, as far as anything else regarding your experience in working with the educated dieter? Actually, there's, I, I will touch on that, but there's one other benefit that I had kept meaning to tell you about that I forgot. 
Okay. And as you know, um, with with age for for females come the whole menopause, night sweats, hot flashes thing. And I forgot to tell you that I used to have to sleep with like a washcloth under my uh, my other pillow mm. because in the middle of the night, the night sweats, I would just just pour down drench and I would just have to wipe off. Wow. I no longer have that. Like I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like I have not had, I could tell you a night, a night sweat period. And if it wow. is, it's like a mist. Mm -hmm. And it's just like once throughout the night. Whereas before it was like several times throughout the night and it was just like pouring down drinks. So I, that's another benefit I kept beginning to tell you about. So that's another wow. benefit. But as far as my experience with the educated dieter, um, I, I just can't say enough about it. I I am blessed to have been able to been introduced to you. I am blessed that you're the educated person that is able to help me get to the point and position I need to be to educate me on dieting, on eating, mm -hmm. and be able to get to the point, like I said, where I need to be. So my experience with the educated diet with you has been nothing but phenomenal, nothing but phenomenal. I mean, I, I just commend the work, the, the fact that you, you, you thirst for continual education, that you thirst for continually bettering yourself and educating yourself so that you can show up for your patients, for your clients, sorry, and be there for them. And that in and of itself, um, being in this field means more to me than, than anything, because as a professional, you have to continually um, read and get that evidence-based medicine, because it doesn't always stay the same. It changes. And so if you're not keeping up with that, you're not knowing what those changes are. So you're writing off of the same information that may no longer be true. And um, that's what I love about you. You're continually thirst, your continual thirst for um, educating yourself, for learning so that you can better serve your clients. That's the best thing. Well, thank you so much. I, I'm a firm believer that the best leaders have to always remain students. Yes. You know, Absolutely. and you know, the best practitioners, you know, whatever they are in the world, doctors, nutritionists, you know, athlete coaches, who, you know, surgeons, any, any profession. I feel like oftentimes people who stop learning, that's when they stop advancing, whether it be in their practice, in life, or anything like that. So I'm a firm believer the best leaders are and always will remain students. So um, Dr. Andrea, just wanted to say thank you so much for coming on and just you know sharing uh, a, a bit of your experience in, um, in working directly with me at The Educated Dieter. And uh, guys, that is it for us uh, in this video. I really appreciate all of you who watch this. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, you can go ahead and leave them down in the comment section down below, or you can you know, re reach out to us in the link in the description. And uh, we appreciate you all for your time. God bless everybody. Dr. Andrea, thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you.